watch she and the gold ring them Come shopping at the mall at the good store them My car everything when me put on some Gucci to look with the and Jimmy to Italy and Balenciaga right now like may I burn up Whew. anyways hey guys welcome back to my channel um this video is gonna be a little bit different today I won't be doing my makeup my hair nothing no 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 nothing like that I'm gonna be showing you blood bird I'm gonna be showing you guys my little setup you know like things that I have to go through to film I'm gonna show you how I would set up my backdrop I'm gonna show you my little makeup corner like I'm just gonna show you the behind the scenes you know like I'm gonna show you yeah behind the scenes yeah <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited to film this video because I just want to share with you guys like I just want you guys to know like if you want to do something don't let stupid things stop you basically like I'm saying this to you right now but there are other things in my life that I'd want to do and stupid things are stopping me but you know whatever I'm still giving the advice I'm doing YouTube I've been doing it since summer 2017 almost summer 2019 so that's two years and I still don't have a camera I don't have some fancy lights I'm gonna show you the lights that I use um, like I don't have you know the fancy YouTube stuff but I make it work with what I have so that's the whole that's what I want you to get from this video you know like this is a this is a, a life lesson video like make it with what you have eventually you'll reach to the point where you can afford to buy all the other stuff that you want to get but you know like you have to start from somewhere start from the bottom like you'll get there I'm proud of myself with like my whole YouTube thing like I'm proud of the fact that I haven't stopped as yet just because I feel like it's a it's kind of it's kind of a struggle doing it in this tiny room like the room is so tiny I can hardly change my mind in this room it's so tiny right so yeah I think like I'm proud of myself for not giving up on YouTube because yeah the room is so tiny and just the little things that I have to like kind of put together to make a video and you know when you just start using something and it just kind of grow on you something else just kind of feel weird yeah like I've just been using iMovie on my phone since summer 2017 so it just feels weird editing on a laptop and using a software that's not iMovie I don't know I just I tried it once and I was like uh can't bother with this and I just ran for my phone and I edited on my phone. So I have this, um, let me put it back into a tiny tripod so you can see. This is what it looks like. And um, it can go out to 50 inches, so. So I'm gonna put you guys on this bigger tripod so you can just kind of stand up around here behind me i'm gonna put you guys here so that way you can look here onto my whole setup that's in front of me right now okay so i'm gonna show you my little makeup corner first so i have it on this little table right here and it's in the corner so i bought this little well i have my sanitizer because my always are sanitized this is a little thing my body from my back, coming back, I was a pain. But anyways, I have all of my brushes in this little mug. And then over here, I have, um, I bought this little, bought this little acrylic kind of case thing, or, con what do you call this? No, yeah, this. And I have all my foundations, my setting sprays, eyelash glue, my little blades for my eyebrow, um, some primers like my MAC um, Propel Prime, I have some other primers here. But this is where like all my foundations are here. These are all my foundations. And around the back, I have my Milk Amnesia and my Calamine Lotion. 
I use those as primers too. And up here I have some lashes. These are from Colored by Tay. That's that's the Instagram, Colored by Tay. See? Colored by Tay. So yeah, make sure to check them out. I also have these. These were recently sent to me. They're from Island Girl Luxurious Lashes. I wore this one the other day. So make sure to check them out too. And I have a bunch of lashes right here that they've just been sitting here for a while. My room key. <laughs> they've just been sitting here for a while and I'm always like, oh you know I need to f like you know figure them out. Like what's up here? I think this one is up here. These are some cocoa lashes. Oh but then to your two right eye. Okay, I think this is up here. This is up here. But like it just ugh, can't bother. Can't bother right now, seriously. So, okay, I have this first drawer. I have some more lashes from Colored by Tay. These are from Shop Kiyomi Jolie. So beautiful. And, like, I just have a bunch of other lashes in here. A bunch of lashes. But this drawer is just a bag of lashes seriously basically this drawer has everything for my eyes so i have my lashes i have these little glitters i have glitter primer liquid liner eyelash curler i should put this over here i was looking for this the other day my eye my dip brow pomade this is from shop kiyomi jolie as well um liquid liners mascaras everything for the eyes and then here I have my lip stuff so I keep those little sponges inside as well and but this is like all my lip glosses my lipsticks that kind of thing so yeah lip jar and then down here I have like my powders pressed powder this is from milani cosmetics ja my air spun this is another foundation but because it's like this and not a bottle i have it in here and all my concealers are in here my blushes are in here my lighters you know all them kind of little things yeah like this you know like pressed stuff and powder stuff yeah so yeah this is how i store my makeup on my desk in the little corner eyeshadows are over here so we have this little shelf in our room and i have this whole section for my eyeshadows so as it relates to lighting i have this little vanity bar right here it's actually for a bathroom you know like the little lights you can put away your face basin or whatever i bought this in walmart i think i paid like 19 dollars for it and I bought these daylight bulbs in Walmart as well um, and then I came and I let my friend set it up for me him put on a wire all kind of fancy electric electrical stuff when we can't really explain but in the end he gave me a, a switch you know I'm just filming and I'll just put on my switch in addition to my little vanity bar. I also have this. So I bought this on Amazon. Um, well, first of all, I bought my vanity bar summer 2018. Yes, summer we're gone. And then this, I don't remember what you call this. I bought it last school year. I just clamp it onto my window so that it shines down on me and I have another daylight bulb inside of it but this alone wasn't enough for me so I got this bar over the summer and now I use both of so I have this light above me and then this light right here so those are my two lights all right so I have this little water bottle with some rice because well, first of all this is my tripod that I use this small one um, I'm gonna have to order another one soon because this was normally a little like a little like a socket you know like a ball and socket joint so this was the ball and then this was the socket but piece of socket kind of chip off so it's like 
my phone like when I put my phone up here it's falling this way through the crack so I'm gonna have to get another one soon but anyways this is what I use so I have my little bottle with rice because like rice you know like all this rice is able to kind of keep it steady you know if I was supposed to just put it in here with no rice it would be dangling all over the place so I use rice I could use sand because sand is kind of heavy like that too to kind of you know hold it in place but me not in the sun me have rice so yeah I use my rice and I have it in my bottle and I stick my tripod in so this by itself is too low for me you know like it my phone is gonna be looking up in my nose hole that's that's just not cute you know I want it at eye level to be seeing me okay boo boo so I have this candle I literally always forget that I have this candle because it's no longer a candle it's a YouTube equipment you know it's a stand anyways I just turn it upside down like this so I can get the bottom of it like this and then I take my eco styler because this these two together is kind of the perfect height so yeah I put my eco styler on top and then I put my bottle of rice on top of my eco styler so now my phone comes here and it's just in line with my face and then I have my little mirror which would come right here in front while I'm you know, doing my makeup and then around the back here I have um, I make sure to always have a paper towel well, I use it all the time anyways, but I mean, when I'm filming, I need it. So I get the roll, and I put it behind right here. And then I get my mirror, and I stick it inside, and just kind of lean it up on the wall. Like so. And then when my phone goes here, because I film with my back camera, right? So, because my back camera is obviously better than the front camera. So I use my mirror as a mirror, you know, like, I use my mirror as a screen. So I look in the mirror to be like, okay, my phone is recording, okay, oh, it's saying that my battery is dying, I can plug in my charger, okay, my face is in the video, okay, my foundation is in the video, you know, like, I use this to look in my phone that's right here to make sure that everything is good. You understand? Yeah. Oh shit. Sorry guys. Y'all fell. Did that hurt? It's because of this little thing right here that I was talking about, you know. I need to get me a new tripod. Shit. This is a part of the stress. Because I literally have to set it away to balance my phone in it. Okay, so yeah, ta -da. so I'm gonna go get my backdrop pieces and I'm gonna put it together. I made it all by myself, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah. So my backdrop was made from PVC pipes and I literally went to a hardware and well, I watched a tutorial on it by the way, that's where I got the idea from. I've, I don't really use it that much because most of my videos, you know, you see my background, you see my door, my ugly door, you see, because it's just so annoying to set up and when I set it up I can't really move because I don't have the space in here so it's just, it's kind of annoying but if I'm doing a video where I really like some videos me just really feel like me need a backdrop but I always hate setting it up because it's such a struggle okay so I went to a hardware and I told them I don't remember the measurements because it's so long ago but these are my legs and at the bottom of each like it was just a straight pipe right and then I got this kind of T connector thing and then these screw in so it's four pieces total on the legs one two three four and just put them back in and then i bought these little end caps and i put them on 
So yeah, I have the T connectors at the foot to catch the two legs and this. I'm gonna put it together so you can see what it looks like. So yeah, you connect it right here and it comes up and yeah. And then for my backdrop, I use fabric. So I have this purple one. I normally set this like this. So when I hang my backdrop here in this space, you know, it's behind me, duh. Like when I say I can't really move, I literally mean I can't really move. On this end, it's touching the wall, like this is this space is not space because I can't fit through there and then right here it's literally touching my bed again because I still can't pass through here so like sometimes when I'm filming you should see me you know like when my backdrop is up and I want to go use the bathroom I feel like jump up on my bed and then jump back off and then you know go pee pee then jump back on and jump back over here so I struggle so anyways Okay, so you see how this part in the video like it's just showing the wall and how it just fall so I normally get some tape and I just so now it looks more like you can't really tell and then I'm normally here so it's like you don't really see that it kind of curve or even if you see I don't give a damn like I ain't got no other choice but yeah, let me show you guys now. These little clamps on Amazon, they're backdrop clamps. Sometimes I iron it when it's really crushed, I iron it. And then over here on the wall, so it was just falling like this. And I just took the end and I pulled it over. And then I just taped it on my wall. This is me in front of my backdrop with zero light, just the light that's in my room. And then this is me with my vanity bar and then with my overhead light I think it looks much better with the lights on yeah it's a whole adventure in here <sighs> but anyways yeah so if you want to start YouTube you don't have to have some big fancy Canon camera you don't have to have a bag of money you don't have to have fancy backdrop you don't have to have vinyl paper and seamless paper like I made it work with fabric from pings and PVC pipe from a hardware and some rice from a supermarket like you don't have to have the top of the top things to start you know because you're gonna grow you're gonna get better you're gonna your channel is gonna get bigger and if you want to monetize you can eventually and then you can start making money to um, buy those top of the line things you know so yeah guys what i really want you to know is if you want to do something just do it and stop making excuses stop saying oh i don't have this oh i don't have that because a lot of the times we can find alternatives and a lot of the times the things that are stopping us aren't that important you know so yeah, a lot of people would message me sometimes and ask me about how to start YouTube, you know, blah, 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 blah. They don't have a camera. Honey, I don't have a camera either. I'm not going to forever film on my phone, you know, because when I'm using my phone, the whole world get locked off, you know, so. And I don't really like doing that because I feel like I might be filming and somebody might be dying and they want me to save them. But because I'm here doing makeup, they might go dead because my phone is on do not disturb so i'm not gonna get your call boo boo but for now i don't have a camera i don't have the money for a camera and that's fine i'm gonna get one this summer um what else yeah guys like i think that's pretty much it like you just need to know you want to do something put your mind to it and don't let anything stop you
because when I just started I never had these lights and it's still nothing fancy but I mean it's a lot in comparison to the light that I had in my room because that that was all that I was using at one point in time you know and then I stepped up to this little light that was over my head and then that wasn't enough and now I stepped up to this little $19 bathroom vanity bar and it's still not enough because I think sometimes I still look a li little dark but it's a whole lot better is what I'm trying to say it can work it can go on if you made it to the end I think you should just give it a like because like you're the real MVP if you sat and watch all of this you know tell me what tell me what part of my struggle is your favorite like tell me actually there was there's always gonna be struggles in life you just have to decide what struggle you're willing to deal with you know like I love doing YouTube I love doing makeup hair I love filming you know so like this kind of struggle to set up like even though I call it a struggle it's a struggle that I'm okay with going through you know so you just have to know what you want to do know what you like know what you're interested in and be committed to that struggle because no matter what you do in life YouTube or whatever I don't know you always have problems you always have struggle you know so you just have to know what struggle you want to deal with and I'm okay with dealing with this struggle for now because I know I'm not gonna be dealing with it forever yeah I sound like my smart no <laughs> whoa so now I'm looking in my mirror at the back and it just told me my phone is gonna die so I'm gonna go put it on charge if I never had my mirror I'd be here chatting away not being able to see my screen and then you know when we go for edit half of my video gone become a phone did dead yeah let me know what part of my whole setup you like the most did you like my backdrop like did you like what I do for my backdrop did you like how I have my lights did you like how I set up my little candle and eco styler and then bottle of rice like just I don't know just let me know what was your favorite part to watch you know what part shocked you the most or what part you saw and you were like oh my goodness she really did that like you know like just just let me know but anyways thank you for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're the one who wants to start YouTube I hope it helped you I hope you feel I hope you see that you can actually start it with nothing and yeah I think that's it for my advice guys thank you so much for watching I love you and yeah peace